Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Malik034. This is Malik Arjun. Here I am with a new interesting topics for today. How to download Oracle Enterprise Linux from Oracle eDelivery or Oracle OTN repository site. Okay, so if you are first of all new to my channel, please do subscribe and share with your friends, families and colleagues. Ask them to subscribe. And then don't forget to click on the bell button for the latest uploads or latest technological videos as soon as I upload it. Okay, let's start with the today's session. Uh, in this session, you know how to download Oracle Enterprise Linux from Oracle eDelivery is a pretty straightforward process. I have divided into six main categories, as you can see my screen here. I have divided this entire process as a six steps or six categories for ease of understanding. And at the end, don't forget to watch my tips and tricks where I got a brilliant comments from many of my colleagues, many of my YouTube channels, many of my YouTubers and many of my followers. This tips and tricks make them make their life very easy you know with shortcut method of uh, making sure that uh, fastest and easiest way of handling the entire process this is one of uh, process I used to follow on my each and every channel at the end I'm going to give some tips for ease of understanding and making our life easy so let's start first of all you need to log into oracle e-delivery site that is e-delivery.oracle.com with your individual login id and password or your organization login id and password uh, i already opened the site and then i'll log in with my id and password Here you go. Yep, I logged into e delivery. Once you log in, once you logged into e delivery, you need to search for uh, Oracle Linux. And in this process, I'm going to explain you how to download Oracle Linux 7 and Oracle Linux 8. Once you log into this e delivery, you need to search for uh, desired software. Once you find your software, you need to add it to the cart. And once you add to cart, you need to proceed with the checkout. And during the checkout, you need to select a desired uh, platform or language like x86 or 64. And then once you select a uh, desired platform, you need to click on license terms and agreement conditions. And then we will proceed with the download. Let's see how we can do this entire process. I'm going to search for Oracle Linux. Here you go, Oracle Linux. Once you search, it will list out all the Linux OEL, Oracle Enterprise Linux available in Oracle eDelivery. The latest one is 8.2. I will just select 8.2. And then in 7, I will go with uh, Oracle Linux 7.8, add to cart. Yep, two items are added to my cart. So if I see Oracle Linux 8.2, Oracle Linux 7.8, and proceed to checkout. Okay, during checkout, make sure you select your x86-64 platform. Yep, once you select, click on continue. And then as I mentioned, accept terms and conditions, license agreement. Once you accept it, you can see so many ISOs. What are basically, what are these all and how to select and what to do with the Shall I download all of these or shall I download only few of these? Okay, so if you want to download a bare metal ISO image for OS installation, the keyword is for x86 only. You can see if you are downloading 8.2, you need to go for Oracle Linux release 8 update 2 for x86. This is a bare basic ISO image one has to download for installation. Similarly, for 7.8, the keyword is for x86. 
Oracle Linux 7 update 8 for x86. So, other, what are these other things? If you see this boot ISO image is for, uh, you know, diag.iso for troubleshooting, booting or issues, they will refer it. And the, the other source DVD is contains all the latest RPMs, latest repositories and so many advanced RPMs uh, where you can be able to install on top of this uh, once you install this bare metal OSO. So I am not interested of, on this, I just want the bare metal uh, ISO. So I will just click only this, rest other I will select. Okay, so once you unselect, I will just click on this ISO image. Right, I will just go to the first 8.2. I will just click on this ISO image. 8.2 and then it will ask you to the local directory where you want to download I will select my data and software OEL OEL 8.2 then start download here you can see after downloading similarly I am going to download 7.8 well, it will ask for your local directory. I'm going to select again my software repository my folder L7.8. Here you go. Uh, these two are started downloading. Once uh, download completes, you are ready to use them. Okay, now coming to the end of the session, trips and tricks. Okay, uh, here, uh, you know, you are downloading this software locally into your uh, laptop or desktop. Once you download it, you need to either use external hard disk or win a CP or SCP to download, uh, sorry, to move or copy to, uh, you know, the, the servers. That is again, you know, tech work, you copy, move, you know, time consuming job. Other than that, there is a wget script you can use wget script and mention your iso image and directly start downloading directly into your server where you want to install it so for that i have already covered my youtube session last week that is how to download software or patches from mars using wget script or direct download method so please do go through this Video, you will understand you know how to download easily directly into your software uh, directly into your servers okay thank you thank you guys